Hi, my name is Lisa Johnstone. I'm a pelvic health physical therapist with Oxford Physical Therapy at our Westchester location. Today I'm going to talk about pelvic floor physical therapy and urinary incontinence. There are two types of incontinence, stress incontinence and urge incontinence. Stress incontinence occurs when there is an increase in abdominal pressure. This puts pressure on the bladder and if the pelvic floor muscle is weak, it can't counteract that pressure and therefore you'll have leakage. Abdominal pressure increases when we cough, sneeze, laugh, lift something, exercise, or even get up out of a chair. Urge incontinence occurs when the bladder itself actually contracts or spasms, and this creates pressure, and therefore then incontinence. Urge incontinence can be associated with overactive bladder, and when you have overactive bladder, you can have a strong sense of urge to go to the bathroom, and then you can't make it, and you'll have leakage and oftentimes you have to go to the bathroom frequently. Some people have both kinds of incontinence, stress and urge, and this is called mixed incontinence. Pelvic floor physical therapy can help with incontinence. The pelvic floor muscle is very important in controlling the bladder. We specifically evaluate the pelvic floor muscle for its strength, coordination, relaxation, and overall dynamics. We determine what the most appropriate exercises and treatments are for you. By learning exercises to help strengthen and relax pelvic muscles, it can improve bladder function. Thanks for watching. Remember, Kentucky and Ohio have direct access, which means that you can go to see a physical therapist without a doctor's referral and still use your insurance. If you're interested in pelvic floor physical therapy or any other services that Oxford pr provides, please visit OxfordPhysicalTherapy.com.